after giving a classic a fair chance, you really cannot abide him, or remain hermetically sealed against his charm. It is perhaps wisest to say nothing about it, though if you do pluck up heart of grace and hit him a critical rap over his classical head, it will not hurt him, and it may do you good. But let the rap succeed and not precede a careful study, for depend upon it, it is no easy matter to become a classic. A thousand snares beset the path to immortality, as we are pleased to call a few centuries of fame. Rocks, snows, avalanches, bogs. You may climb too high for your head. You may sink too low for your soul. You may be too clever by half or too dull for endurance. You may be too fashionable or too outrageous. There are a hundred ways to the pit of oblivion. Therefore, when a writer has, by general consent, escaped his age, when he has survived his environment, it is madness and folly for us, the children of a brief hour, to despise the great literary tradition which has put him where he is.